One day I was having lunch with Chris Stanley. It was, you know how me and Chris, when we're alone, there's just like zero talking. It's almost embarrassing. <laughs> so we're 40 minutes, right, into a one hour lunch, and no one had said anything the yeah. entire time. <laughs> we're just both eating. And then he looks up at me and he just says this He goes, I'm a grower, not a shower. What? I don't want you even to tell me that. Well, I was I was thinking about it in my internal in my mind as I was eating, and, <laughs> and then I thought I'd, I'd share that because you know it was just you and I at the time. I didn't think you'd share it with everyone else, but yeah, I was. I don't know. I had a oh, date. You don't I, want me to share that? I mean, it, it was just. And I said, "Please, this is between you and I." At the time, I didn't. I wasn't even paying attention. To and that I had part. a date that night, so you know. Why did you think that he needed to know this information? I just like to let Ron know things. All I did is take my plate and throw it. In the <laughs> it, was, it was embarrassing. Well, I and won't I be eating this, this. And I go, and you're paying. <laughs> um, nothing is worse than when someone acts like. They're stopping what they're doing, but they make it more awkward. <laughs> when uh, was this? My dad's 90th birthday, and we started to do speeches for him as we were getting the food. And one of the kids was getting like coleslaw and then just hung over the table like they were, the even though we had to go through 30 people. To do speeches. <laughs> One of my favorite moments of that is like the look on certain people's faces when they realize everyone's giving a speech. Because yeah. some people are very uncomfortable in the speech situation. Well, the reason why I kept it going is I wasn't crazy about my own speech. <laughs> but then I thought, ah, if I make everyone else do it, I'll still finish in the fo- top 10%. <laughs> <laughs> They'll be like, you know what? Ron wasn't so bad. That wasn't a bad speech. Yeah. Chris, have you ever been asked to give a speech at a at an event, a birthday? Anything? God, no, no. Why don't you do this? Why don't we all list your, lift our glasses, and you make a toast to me like this was my special day. Oh, this okay. is great. All right. Um, excuse me, everyone. I'd like to like to say a few words about. Hey, Chris wants to talk. To you. <laughs> <laughs> this guy. This um, this isn't going. This isn't starting <laughs> no, off no, very do well. It, do it for real. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, everyone, everyone, please, please, please. Would you please stop with that part? Just I, just, I just I just want to make sure everyone's you paying need attention. To set Would the you scene. you're and now ruining my special day. <laughs> Ron just, <yeah. laughs> Ron, this is your your special day. And I want you to know from the bottom of my heart. You wouldn't say that, would Come you? From the bottom of my heart. No, I want you to say it correctly. Be real. I, I am it was a real, real. You wouldn't say from the bottom of your you heart. What do you give me a speech day. in nineteen forty seven? Ron Bennington. <laughs> <laughs> Aggressive. We haven't got back into character. Everyone raise your glasses again. Everyone raise your glasses. Seriously, everyone raise your glasses. So, so this man, Ron Bennington, who I've known for a decade and who I love more than anything. Hmm? And I want to say he's the most talented, beautiful bastard I've ever seen. Bastard? Is that well, a good thing? A where are you, wait, 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 where's his familiarity that you will be a bastard? <laughs> There's nothing I hate more than... <laughs> I don't know where that came from. <laughs> let, me, let me just say something about this jagoff over here, am I right? This goddamn, he's stealing money from the company. By... Come on, dude, give me a real... I point. take that back, Ron Bennington. <laughs> the bastard part, no. All right, just start over. Okay. We'll all I'm making a us. good speech. I, I want to make it a good speech. <laughs> Attention, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> everyone here tension? gathered for Ron's We're special so day. <laughs> Stop saying special day. Look, this oh. man's special day is here, and we're going to fucking celebrate it. <laughs> no, no in cursing. Style. Style. <laughs> for the special day. <laughs> Again, he feels he needs to create a world. He's like in style. He's like in this particular circumstance. We're styling, profiling for the special day. We're on special day, hell yeah. <laughs> All right, just forget the special day. Just Sweating. speak from the heart and don't say anything like a man that I love more than anything yeah, else true, in the world. I love you. you treat me like more than you. anything I, no. in the world, as you said? <laughs> more than anything. The rest of you people look at the world. That's you don't serious. love it as much as I do, Ron Bennington. Now you're being silly instead of being serious. I am being serious. I want it to be a serious, non-shitty fucking I, speech. Why would I want to give a shitty speech? I don't know why you're doing it, though, Chris. That hurts my feelings because I, I want I want to. You just uh, said I love him more than anything else in the whole world. That's what you said to a fucking to your mom or your girlfriend. <laughs> you don't say it to a guy you work with. This isn't a proposal. Okay. And let's face it, you wouldn't piss on me if I was on fire. If you were on fire, I would both piss on you, and then I would get water to fucking you know once the the, the piss didn't work. 
<laughs> I mean, assuming I had enough piss inside of me and I wasn't close to water. God. That's what I'm trying to say. I'm just trying to get this fire out. <laughs> what are you laughing at, Vito? You would never be asked to speak on Ron's special day. So you know what? I am. I'm going to give it to Vito. Vito, I want you to make. I want you to make the speech uh, about me. <laughs> you don't have to get up. He <laughs> got up. It means more. That's bullshit, Ron. All right. Imagine a clinking glass. Okay. Gotcha. This is beautiful. Come on. Glad. I'm glad everybody can make it out here today. You know, just get to this. We're all here for Ron's special day. <laughs> Rip me off, Ron. <laughs> what is this day? It's special, Gail. <clears throat> I know a lot of you travel real far. And I'm glad to see all these faces that I haven't seen in a while. Chris, <laughs> what, 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 what year is this occurring in? Well, we all know why we're here. It's for Ron. I want to say cheers to the man who brings life. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Thank you, Vito. Seriously? <laughs> oh, my God. It's oh, so true, shit. though. It's I mean, when I, it is. I work so hard to bring life to everybody <laughs> and finally be noticed for it. It's your special day. Yeah, yeah it's my special day. <laughs> I try to get a special day speech out there. Shut up! <laughs> wow, <that's fucked> up. <laughs> Ryan's ruining your special day. You called me a no good bastard. <laughs> you called him a bastard. Term of endearment. A beautiful bastard. Mm. Well, that was unbelievably God. uncomfortable. Was... <laughs> Everyone, please look at me. <laughs> Instead of, you make it seem like you couldn't get the attention. <laughs> You're like, please. At one point, you said, raise your glasses. I'm serious. <laughs> Do it. You're aggressive, even in this circumstance. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Let's just hope his speech uh, skills are grower, not a shower. <laughs> are you making a speech for uh, Zito? Oh. I was told I'm not allowed to. When is his uh, when is his wedding? Don't trust me. Uh, it is the week after Moon Tower. Is that right? Yeah, the week after Moon Tower. But we better look into that being a vacation week then. Yeah, because you're going to be going what half the week? Uh, half least? the week, yeah. Because I'll be out in uh, Saint Martin, the island of Saint Martin. That's nice. I believe it's, it's a I believe it's a Dutch island. Yeah, I'm not good in the sun. Don't swim. So this should be fun. I re you know, we had thought about getting you swimming lessons before you go. I think, dude, you want to do that? You want us to get you swimming lessons? I'll show off some swimming lessons at the at the yeah. wedding. Sure, yeah. And that way you're able to snorkel. <laughs> oh, that'd be great. <laughs> By the way, you're not gonna show off some swimming lessons. Hey guys, guess you're just what I learned? Swim. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna show that shit off, Gail. <laughs> Everyone, look at me. <laughs> He's just doggy paddling in the in the shallow. Water. Look. You're not looking. <laughs> Who is, who's the girl you're going to be with? Uh, I'm not sure. Oh, wait, no. Uh, a friend of his wife's, this girl, Kate. Mm. So you guys are paired up walking down the aisle together? Yes. You get a picture of her? Um, I don't think so. I'll get yeah. one, though. I'll get one. I love to yeah. take a look. And you know what you're wearing? What kind of tux? Uh, <clears throat> yeah, I had to go get fitted for a tux, yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah, it's a fucking nightmare. What's what, the uh, what color? color? Black. Yeah, but what's like, the, you know. I'll like, get a, I, I don't are know. Are they getting get married on the beach? <laughs> I th are they getting buried on the beach or a you pier? You just said buried. They're not going to be buried on the beach. So who's going to get buried on a pier? <laughs> <laughs> I think they're. I think they're going to get buried on the pier. One. It's um probably going to be a burial. <laughs> Everybody, listen up. We're here on this pier for one moment. <laughs> it's a very special pier. <laughs> hey, people, listen. If you would just peer over your glasses. <laughs> Chris, I'm asking about the accent color, like a pocket square. As far as I know, on? there's no pocket square. What are the ladies wearing? What are the? Yeah, I have no idea what the ladies wearing. I'll ask. find these Come details. On. This where'd is you go? Where'd stuff. you get your, the, your tux? Men's warehouse, one block over. Not big Men's and tall. Warehouse. <laughs> <laughs> Men's warehouse has a big and tall section. Oh, good. Yes. Yeah, yeah. All right. <laughs> By the way, there's never been one tall person. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have any stuff for tall people? Not really. <laughs> you're the first that showed up here. It's usually 
usually, <laughs> usually the clothing companies are comfortable with tall people. Yeah. yeah. It should just be called stouts. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh well, this that's great, yeah, Chris. It's an exci- great. It's an ex- it'll be an exciting uh, wedding, I believe. Yeah, and I'd love to get you a couple swimming lessons in because I'm worried about you out there. Yeah, no, I could, you know, I could fall into the ocean. God knows, <laughs> I could fall into the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> what? What? Let's say that wrong. You don't fall off an island, dude. <laughs> You dive into the ocean. Got it. You don't like he was standing on the beach and fell in. <laughs> this is good for me when I'm on the island. I won't say these things then. I can say them now and get it out of the way. friend of mine fell into the ocean. <laughs> just standing on the beach. <laughs> Slip and fell directly into the ocean. Poor bastard. Jen, do you swim? I don't. You I don't, don't swim, swim at all? I never learned how. You're an island girl. <laughs> so maybe I'll go with Chris. Do you ride a bike? I know how to ride a bike. Yeah. How can someone... Vito, you swim, I'm right? a great swimmer. Yeah. <laughs> oh, look, he, just, he just likes to brag. I'm a my great face. swimmer. I'm a great bike rider. <laughs> this is part of your speech, I hope. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, if I can get your attention. I'm a great swimmer <laughs> and bike rider. What's that wrong? I could ride a bike... Into a pool and swim to the other side. <laughs> well, anyway, that's what I think are ill-named movies. <laughs> <laughs> Let's uh, take a break here, shall we, Christopher? And congratulations on you. You're going to this uh, of a lovely goddamn party. Now, who are you flying down with? Uh, by myself. Oh. I know by myself. I think it seems like the wedding party should be flying. Yeah, down the, like party plane. They're getting there earlier. I don't know what's going on. Why are they getting there earlier? We just said we take the vacation week for you. Switch your flight. Me, I switch the flight. Yeah. Then? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Go the with flight. the party crew. Hey, everybody, it's Crazy Chris. <laughs> oh yes. Yeah. I'm our fun guy. Fun guy. Where the liquor at, yo? <laughs> Wagging his dick on the plane. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> it's gonna be eight fucking crazy days. <laughs> and what's your girl's name that you're gonna be Kate. with? Kate. Kate. Mm. Chris and Kate. Yeah, mm. Chris and Kate. Yeah. You think this could turn into something serious? Uh, I believe she has a boyfriend, but I wouldn't. But I wouldn't, you know, be opposed to breaking up the relationship. You're not opposed to a three way either. No, even hell though. That ends up with you with a big fucking hairy set of fucking nuts in your mouth. I mean, I, I wouldn't want that. I wouldn't want that. Don't be fucking homophobic, Chris. <laughs> I don't want to suck any balls. <laughs> big balls. Big balls. Chris sucks. Big balls. And you can get your asshole fingered by it's happening. <laughs> Is it her or him? You didn't think of that, did you, Chris? <laughs> Let's break, Chris. You've turned this into another disgusting fucking pederast talk. <laughs> like, this is all people of age, consenting adults. There's no children involved.